So, this is the Lotho Fan, and well, it's a 3D printed image. Hey, I'm Xiao, and I run Xiao Team Prints on Etsy and a bunch of other social medias, and well, here's my Lotho Fan project. So, Lotho Fan is any slab of material that has varying levels of thickness. The thickness decides how much light is allowed through, such as this darker area, such as this hair, is a little bit thicker than maybe the areas where there is lighter skin. So that is how a lithophane frame works. But how does this lantern work? So this lantern uses multiple pieces of software to design and make, as well as multiple pieces of hardware to actually produce. So if you look here, this cap actually reveals how you can service it if something does break, where there is a very bright little USB light, as well as a cable extension, which goes here for the power switch, which then goes to a USB block. Now on Etsy, I do sell these with the light, the cable, and the lantern. However, the block is not provided. I just assumed you already have one. It uses any USB block, USB-A block, and so any five watt old iPhone charger will absolutely do as this one is plugged into, or even your old Samsung chargers, or even your Amazon Fire tablet chargers, any USB-A charger will provide enough power to light this thing up. Now, what about the curve? So this image is actually curved on what is described in software as an 86 degree angle. So if this image became a full circle, it would take up about just a quarter of that circle, just under a quarter of that circle by using, which is gonna bore you, very specific math, I am able to choose the curvature of the image and finding that curvature is what the math is. So I'm not gonna bore you with details, but there is math involved in curving the image properly because otherwise you will get some weird artifacts or weird product. So the softwares I use are a lithophane generator, which is an open source server generator, cloud generator, where you'll give them an image and they will genu generate a model for you. So this lithophane generator makes an image. However, I do have to inform it some few settings. Some settings include the height, which I have to keep at 130, which is the height of the lantern, minus the little cap. But I also have to tell it how to curve the image. Now the curve of the image for this one at least is 86 degrees. However, depending on the aspect ratio of the image, I do have to modify this angle, which is where the math comes in. Now, this is the main reason why it is quite costly Be on Etsy, for me at least, because I have to actually do this said math. I have to modify all these parameters. I also have to go back and forth with the customer on how they want it done. I show them like a before print, like prototype look. And when they say yes, it works, I'll print it. Now this back and forth, and it will take a few days of work. And so I have to charge a little bit more for this type of product over other products on my Etsy. In addition, it uses extra hardware, such as the USB cable, as well as the light, which does rack up price, as well as there's free shipping, which means I have to kind of add that into the final price of the object product. So this is what you get. And it's quite nice. So for the rest of the software, I do use Fusion 360 and Blender. So Fusion 360 designs the top, which this one actually has a square pattern, but I do have other patterns that I can use, um, as well as the actual cylinder lantern part. So this cylinder lantern is basically a cylinder that is 130 diameter and 130 tall. Now, using a few bits of math, I can determine how I need to curve the image, which I said before. And I do this math on a calculator, obviously. Though it is not very complex math, it is still math that some people either don't want to do or cannot do. So that is where some of the price comes from, is the effort I do have to put in to understand how to do this. As for the patterns, though, this is actually infill. So the layers have the top layers and the bottom layers still let some light through. However, the infill, because it is so thick, kind of tall wise, 
that light doesn't come through and so you get a pattern like this there are some patterns that it can be chosen from however this was just the basic pattern um that it kind of printed with other than that this is basically everything this is a lithophane project which i am calling the lithophane lantern because it can be used as a lantern kind of so again it does have a feature of power switch that can be powered on and off as a built-in light source and you power it by any USB A block, and that's about it. So, yeah. So, thank you to anyone who made it this far into the video. I hope you enjoyed this um, little video about the Little Fine Lanterns I have um, finally finished designing and will be producing for Etsy. If you have any questions, definitely comment down. Don't forget to follow all the social medias and hopefully check out my Etsy store. Maybe I'll find something that you enjoy. And if you actually want a tutorial on how to design something like this, if you do have your own 3D printer, I will definitely, if requested, I will show the math that is behind it, which is geometry math, I want to say. So if you're in high school, it is very simple to do, especially if you're a sophomore in high school, you've probably already taken geometry or are taking geometry now, and it will be pretty simple math. So I hope you enjoyed. Again, thank you for watching. Definitely follow all the other social medias. Check out Etsy. Have a nice day. Bye.